everyone. This is your queen, Lioness Roars. I'm here in Trenton, New Jersey, my hometown, standing at Trenton train station today with transformative justice. They, we, they went and picked up a brother that just served 35 years, and they just put him on a train to go back home. With that being said, I have to be here in my hometown to show that love and that support and that welcome. With no further ado, I want y'all to meet my brother from Camden, New Jersey. Cito, a.k.a. Tony, or should I say Tony, a.k.a. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. Okay. Let us know, you know, what just happened there and what the Transformers do. The meet at the gate, all that. What we did was one of our coalition partners, Returning Citizens uh, group in North. What they did was, um, we put TJ, uh, it was a bit too far because he was in South Specialists as well. So yeah. Omar Deco did 35 <laughs> years. Omar Deco? Omar. Omar, Omar Deco. Deco. He did 35 years of his sentence and then he was released to death. And what happened was a lot of the brothers up north were working. So they was like, can you get him to Trent and we'll pick him up from north? And he was like, no problem. And this is what we do because it, it takes us to be there for us. Right. We can't keep asking everybody to do for us when we can do for ourselves. Absolutely. And then when people see you doing for yourself, they want to help. Then mm -hmm. they'll say, okay, that's what it looks like. And most people live by sight. You know, they don't walk by faith. And the mm. thing is, is we have to have faith in each other. Mm. And it's in that faith in each other that we execute and then we show the work. It's like when, you know, uh, you turn in a math test with all the right answers, and the teacher sends it back. She says, you didn't show the work, right. but I got them all right. Come on, bro. Right? We're saying, no, we're showing you the work, and, now, and we all right. Yes. And we're going to be all right. And the thing was is that this is a man that knew me from a kid, and he didn't remember me as an adult. This is a man that I looked up to, mm -hmm. and it was like he was one of the strongest students I knew. You know, weight pile, all this other stuff. It's all good. But then when he was sitting in the car, I didn't get mad that he didn't remember me. I was like, I said, it'll come to him. Mm -hmm. He was like, you didn't have long hair. He was, he was this. I was like, yeah. He was like, Tone? I'm like, but it took an hour into the ride before he realized who I was. Right. And what I knew, the energy would bring him back. Right. To what it was. And like he said, he was hesitant about getting in the car with people he didn't know. And the brothers inside was like, you know him, you just don't remember him. You know? And then when he finally said, oh my God. And then one of the old heads that we all looked up to, and he looked up to, happened to call. One of my brothers called on the phone. And the old head was in, on the phone next to him. And he nice. just got finished talking about um, Lee Holmes. Lee you know? Holmes, okay. And Lee yeah. Holmes is another old timer, 40 years in. You know? Welcome home. Um, 43. Just got 20 year hit. And he just got a 20 year hit. Jersey State for Oh my God. So he's still in. Yeah. He's still in. He's okay. Under COVID, they just gave him a 20 year hit. Under COVID. Wow. Under COVID. Wow. And New Jersey State for Road Board gave him a 20 year hit. So the point was is that Omar, that's who Omar, one of Omar's mentors inside. So now he's in the car with us and he's talking to his mentor that he hasn't heard from in over 20 years. And he's like, yo, how is this happening? I said, bro, I. <laughs> they just call him, and when they call, he's standing right next to uh, uh, um, the uh, brother inside is Umar. So Umar is like, me home, standing right here. So mm. put him on the phone. Omar wants to talk to him. Mm. Uh, he's like, he's wow. like, yo, did y'all plan this? No, we didn't plan it. It just happened. It just happened. And that's what I said. When things just happen, they happen for a reason. And it was the yeah. energy brought him. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So he got to talk to his mentor for 30 minutes on a ride to Trenton to get on the train. That's what's and all up. he kept saying was, oh my God, mm. oh my God, I got to talk to Lee Holmes. I can't wait till I talk to Sal. <laughs> tell Sal, I was talking to Lee Holmes. Like, and we're saying, you free, but you're happy to talk to somebody that's been frustrated. Come on, wow. yes. And like, where's Lee Holmes at right now? Lee Holmes is in East Jersey State Prison. He's in East Jersey State Prison, yeah, okay. He's in Raleigh, okay. in Middlesex County. But the thing is, is that, you know, we have an impact on each other's lives and us being there for each other with the community and community stakeholders and people that are providing services. Right. We, um, TJI and our NAS team members, new, new Entry Opportunity Specialists, we fill that gap, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, to where we make sure, like, they can't get them somewhere from one place to the next, we can get them there. Like, we'll take off of work, we'll do whatever we need to do, because one, the, uh, with the South, and the, the, the officer at Southwood, um, we was on the road to 
control. It was real nice. Okay. He was like, yeah, because if wasn't nobody out here, we was gonna send, we was just gonna take him to the bus station, Damn. and we like, then what? And then That's just it. let him go. Just let him go. Just That's let him it. Go. Right. No resources. And the, the whole thing was like, how does that help him? Right. After 35 years of incarceration, how do you drop a man? That's not from Cumberland County. Mm -hmm. Off at a bus station. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. And you mm -hmm. see how these our cities just connected. How New Jersey just connected yeah. from from Camden, Camden, New Jersey to Trenton, New Jersey, Jersey, now to North, North New Jersey. Jersey. And this is how it should stay. We have to stay connected. And this is what I wanted to do. And I thank God for the blessing to be able to start a connection here, to be a plug to uh, for Camden. Now to have a, a plug in North. So any brother and sister that's coming home and that's coming to Trenton, they're going to be welcome here. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to connect that. And I would like to have a, a, a station here, a resources, so when our brothers and sisters get out, even when they get out of Trenton State Prison, they have resources met here, and we can all meet together. This is what you call networking, mm. loving, supporting, and respecting each other, not judging or being a jury. We're not the judge or the jury. And let We're the all network. on the line. We're all on the line. Let so the I, I want to bring over... Abraham, come on over. Abraham, come on over, Sean. Sean always on the phone. He's so busy. <laughs> Look at hey, he making up the time. Yes. Uh, introduce yourself, please. I'm Beverly Rachel Amani, Executive Director of Transforming Justice Initiative. And I just came home from serving 30 years of life in prison. Uh, May 24, 2018. May 24, 2018? 18, yeah. So, Tony, I didn't get, I'm sorry, I didn't get. Um, I came home September 5th, 2018. September 5th, 2018. That was, was that 15 years? No, that's 30 years. Oh, 30 years. Okay, 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. Uh, my name is Sean Washington, Camden, New Jersey. I just came home February of this year. After serving 25 years for crimes I didn't commit for the designer. Really. 25 years for a crime that he did not commit. There's another brother that's not here. Kevin Baker's not here. He also yeah. served 25 years. They don't allow you to do interviews. Okay, well, we listen, um, we're so going to we, cut this short. All so right. we wrap it up in two? Yeah. Yes, so we're about to wrap, wrap it up. up quick. But yeah. thank you so much. No okay, anyway, um, 25 years. Welcome home. Welcome home to all of you. I'm so glad to be connected with uh, TJI Transform Transformative Justice, Justice Initiative. Initiative. I, have, I have a tongue twisted. But here in New, Trenton, New Jersey, y'all guys, y'all welcome. Just like y'all welcome in Camden last week. We have a lot of work to do. And we're going to get it out there with the right people. And here's one right here. Come on over again, Tawanda. Can we bring Eric in? Yeah, we're going to bring Eric in. Right here. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. All right. Um, I called my sister up and asked her to come out to be a, a part of this. And See, my face to work on stop. That's right. And that's Eric Wiggins. 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 And here, and here you are. You got Trenton. You got Camden. And you got a brother, Omar, that just went back to Newark. So we got work to do. Right, right. <laughs> what I want to say is, when we talk about education reform, when we talk about the issues that we have in school, we always talk about the school to prison pipeline. This is the result of that. When we take our young brothers and sisters, our students, and we are penalizing them and suspending them more, um, and they end up getting suspended from school, and then they go out and they commit crimes or happen to be on the street and get convicted of something that they did not do. This, all of this stuff plays a part. We are seeing exactly what happens. So we never need to stop advocating for our people, advocating for our city. Um, and so I'm here to help. I'm so thank glad you so called me today, even though I'm grieving about my loss of my family. My prayers to your family. Thank, thank you sense. so much. But you know what? The work has to, it doesn't stop. No. And so I'm here. And I had to call my brother Eric because he's been doing the work for years. She put crunches in the house. And I just ran straight over here. Well, when I saw you running across the street, I said, that's that's a committed brother there. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to deal with the accolades. I just know it's worth to be done. There you go. That's and you right. know who I am. You know how to get to me. And if you don't know how to get to me, you know my extension. So, you see, see, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. So, don't act like you don't know. That, if they don't know, they know now. And if you don't know, now, now you know. <laughs> this is your queen, Linus Royce, coming to you live from the Wine Glasses Up show in Trenton, New Jersey, my hometown, at Trenton Train Station. We want to say salute and welcome home to Omar Decker. Omar Decker, we love you. Transform. Transform. Uh, we love y'all. <laughs>